morning Laura, it's Thursday and I heard from a friend of ours that you have migraine today so I hope you're feeling better by now and if not then get well soon and I'll start right into the video because I have the feeling that I will be talking quite a lot I thought I'd talk about your impact on my life today so um, the first thing is obviously this channel I mean I wouldn't have started it, I've always wanted to do YouTube just for myself but I didn't start, so now I did, and it's just great fun. The second thing is also a YouTube thing, because you've introduced me to the Vlogbrothers, where we've kind of stolen this format. And I think this speaks for itself, and I completely agree with your last video on uh, John's new book, because it was published at the right time, we picked it up straight away, and it was just... A very good decision. Next thing is very short, it's music. As you know we have this shared music playlist which by the way we stopped doing but I'm still listening to some of the songs so that's an influence you've had on my life. And uh, speaking of music, of course Hamilton. I know technically it wasn't you who made me watch it because I've wanted to watch it for a long time but you've encouraged me to do so and it was also a very good decision because as you know, I love the music. I'm singing the songs quite frequently, especially Alexander Hamilton and The Room Where It Happens. And then, of course, uh, you've probably expected me to, to talk about this one first, um, Marvel. And yes, you've introduced me to Marvel and I love Marvel, but you've introduced me to so much more through Marvel. Because as you know, I picked one cast member at a time and watched or tried to watch their whole filmography. So. I really watched a lot of movies they were in, so you kind of introduced me to some great movies. For example, The Red Sea Diving Resort with Chris Evans, then we have my favorite Shakespeare play now, which is Coriolanus, as well as um, Hank Williams and The Night Manager with Tom Hiddleston in it. Now we have Cherry with Tom Holland and uh, The Devil All the Time with Tom Holland and Sebastian Stan. And one of my favorite movies now, The Imitation Game with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. So I think I could go on and on, but I can't think of other movies from the top of my head right now. So I think you know what I'm trying to say. I just came up with another thing, because technically it's also your fault that my nickname is now Sunny. Because if you wouldn't share my name, then there wouldn't be a need for a nickname. So thanks for that. But I really don't want you to think that you've improved my life in every aspect. So here are some things that didn't improve my life. First of all, I read The Catcher on the Rye because of you and I know you've warned me because you said you didn't like it, but I still kind of read it because you said that and I didn't like it too and I wasted my time completely. Then next is Star Wars. I have to say I didn't continue watching. Um, I'm still at movie two and I don't want to judge too fast because maybe I will like them later on but I just don't really have the motivation at the moment to watch them because I don't enjoy them that much. And the next thing is Game of Thrones. I wanted to watch that for a long time and then you and a friend of ours decided to design that weekend and um, therefore I watched the first season of Game of Thrones and I really did like it but I never continued watching. So I guess you you didn't change my life for the worse, but these are just things that also didn't really make it better. All in all, there are of course a lot more personal things, how you've influenced my life, but I think that is just not something for this video. And I think I really ran out of time now, so I wish you a great rest of the week and I will see you again on Tuesday.